are in Auburn, Illinois. And if you've never heard of that town, there's a good reason because there's not a lot going on here. But it's about 30 minutes out of Springfield and we found a little patch of Route 66. This is about 1.4 miles of Brick Row, part of the original Route 66 path through Illinois here. And while we haven't driven the entirety of Route 66, we wanted to come see just a little piece of it. And today is Big Blue's birthday. One year ago today, we got the blue truck. So we thought we'd let her see a little bit of Brick Road for her birthday, take her out on a little drive, get some exercise because she does not like sitting idle. I would say I, f I found this, I think, through Pinterest. I know, surprise. It was surprisingly hard to find any kind of directions or anything to find this. And finally, we just plugged in Snell Road to find this particular little strip. It's a 1.4 mile strip of brick road. And that got us here. And then we saw the National Historic sign and it turned us straight on it. So it, it worked. I'm happy. I guess this is our first official stop on Route 66. Thought you guys might enjoy seeing that. That was cool, but I'm sure glad we don't have to drive on brick paved roads anymore. <laughs> that was rough. So since we're down here in Springfield, Illinois anyway, I had to go to one of my favorite Mexican food places. And if you followed us for a little bit, you know I like Mexican food. And this is Azteca Mexican Grill and they have the best chimichanga in the state of Illinois. And one of the That's best- a fact. That is a fact. <laughs> and the best chimichanga of one I found almost anywhere. So I'm gonna dip they in here. They do, they really do. I'm gonna dip in here and grab me a chimichanga. And then we're gonna continue on our adventure for the day. That's a chimichanga. So, was Azteca as good as you remembered it being? Oh, I'm in pain. It was so good. When we lived in Decatur, Illinois, this was about an hour and a half drive for us, and this is several years ago, but we would try to get down here as often as possible to get chimichangas and just really, really good Mexican food. So it was as good as I remembered. I think the chimichanga was even better than I remembered. And the only bad thing is we're about an hour and a half away from our camper and I want to take a nap, but we've got a few more, <laughs> we got a few more stops to make today as we're out sightseeing around Springfield, Illinois. So let's, uh, let's find some caffeine and see where the road takes us next. While we were near Springfield, we had an opportunity to visit the Illinois State Capitol building. The first legislative session was held here in 1877. The growth of the state had increased the need for more file storage and office space than the old state capitol building had allowed. So today it's the center of Illinois government. Visitors can watch Illinois politics in action from balcony level seating when the legislature is in session. The current building is the sixth to serve as the Capitol building since Illinois was admitted to the U.S. in 1818. Its footprint is cross-shaped with four equal wings. The building is topped with a 405-foot dome. The interior of the dome features a plaster frieze painted to resemble bronze, which illustrates scenes from the Illinois history, and stained glass windows, including a stained glass replica of the state seal in the oculus of the dome. With a total height of 361 feet, the Illinois Capitol is the tallest non-skyscraper capital, even exceeding the height of the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. Every painting, every material, every everything means something. Of course, up high in the dome they've got depictions from the Indians, the pilgrims, all the way to current day court functions. Of course, look at her bare foot. Her foot is on top of those gold coins that are pouring out of that cornucopia. 
trampling on them, showing their respect for the gold, the coins, or their value. The symbolism of that particular painting is, is that the true ideal, the true justice, should not be bought. And we still have the word justice in 124 karat gold in our walls. The grand staircase and the tour guide was actually telling us that this is the largest grand staircase in the world. Instead of being supported by wood like most of them, it's actually supported by marble and the railing supported by marble. So in its day, this was really advanced and people came from all over to see how they put the curves in the marble. And as far as I know, it's still the largest grand staircase in the world. The floor is granite, but all of the banisters and what supports the banisters is some sort of marble. all day long so totally free to the public it takes about 30 minutes and then once you're done with the tour of the Illinois State Capitol you can actually free roam throughout which is what we're doing now getting some pictures of just some incredible architecture that's been here well over 200 years just a just a really cool spot it's just a reminder you know we lived about an hour and a half north of here for four or five years and never got around to seeing it. So even if you're not traveling full time and doing big bucket list trips, there's always really neat things to see right in your own backyard. And this is clearly one that we've missed over the years. During the turbulent days preceding the Civil War, this is the building where Lincoln stated his immortal words, a house divided against itself cannot stand.